The Cosme is Brandon Sanderson's massive fantasy shared universe. I had dropped out of reading fantasy for a long, long time, but it was discovering the Cosmere and the series within it that brought me back with an excitement I haven't had for years. Hey guys, it's Christian from Lost in Discovery and today I'm going to explain to you what the Cosmere is and why it is probably the most exciting thing happening in fantasy right now. So if you don't know already, Brandon Sanderson is a prolific fantasy author. He has written so many quality fantasy series among my favorites and among many of the favorites of the fantasy fandom. This guy produces books so damn quickly. He's basically a human printer and they are all top quality. What's really exciting about these stories is they take place in a shared universe known as the Cosmere. The Cosmere is made up of many different planets and those planets are surrounded by gods known as shards and the aspects of these shards kind of impact what these planets are like. Because of that, each planet has a very different ecosystem, magic system, wildlife, characters and stories that take place in them. Some of the series or books that you might have heard of that do take place in the Cosmere include Elantris, the Mistborn series, Warbreaker, the massive epic fantasy, the Stormlight Archive, and the graphic novel series White Sand. And that's just scratching the surface, Sanderson has written extra novellas covering other secret aspects of the Cosmere to create a more full picture of what's happening. Each of these series takes place on a different planet in the Cosmere, and because of them, they have very, very different settings and tones. Nalthus, the planet where Warbreaker takes place, is full of vibrancy and colour, and that's integrated into the magic. People use breath that enhances colour and is able to awaken objects into life. On the other hand, you have Scadrial, where Mistborn takes place, where it's a harsh environment. Mist comes out at night and people are terrified of it. There is ash falling from the sky. There is a Lord Ruler. The magic in this world is derived from metal so it's just a hard setting and then you have the incredibly interesting land of Roshar where the Stormlight Archive takes place where high storms rule over the planet and everything on the planet has adjusted because of these storms plants go back into the ground grass retracts when you walk near it wildlife are like crustaceans and they have hard shells and the magic is derived from stormlight itself so all of these settings have very very different vibes and feels to them now each of these worlds could stand on their own in terms of the depth and the lore and how amazing possibilities of all the stories you could tell but the most exciting thing is that it doesn't end there they are all connected in some way and this is where you start to hear the term Cosmere Connections and lots of people are talking about these right now because in the latest book in the Stormlight Archive Rhythm of War these connections have ramped up to a whole new level. What do I mean by that? Well there are many different subtle connections throughout the Cosmere. A lot of the peoples in these worlds have a similar idea of the origin of the universe and a lot of the magic whilst very different on the surface at a deeper level you can find some consistencies in it. Then you get to the next level where you start to see these characters called world hoppers. Now world hoppers are certain characters who have figured out how to travel between the planets in the Cosmere and many times there have been easter egg kind of background characters that you'll notice with a keen eye in these books. But lately it's ramping up to another level where certain main characters are actually traveling to the worlds of the other series and impacting the stories there as well. Think like Marvel MCU style, but like so much better. <laughs> I can't stress to you, just so much better. There's one character actually named Hoyd who shows up in every single Cosmere story. This guy has a long, long, long story at play that will finish at the end game of the Cosmere and he's popping into each of the main series and having a small influence here or there for his own personal gain. We don't know what that is yet. So it's exciting stuff like that that just adds a deeper level and a more added level of excitement to reading Sanderson's work. Even if you don't spot all these little connections, you will definitely see Hoyd and be like, ah, there's my boy, what's he up to? Another really exciting part, if you get even deeper, is many of these books feature maps and a lot of the maps for the worlds and the places in these worlds are annotated and you'll notice the people annotating them are consistent across all the books and you realize these characters are mapping all the worlds in the Cosmere 
across all your different series and that's a whole other story unto itself. Another connection you start to pick up is there are epigraphs in many of Sanderson's books and sometimes it's characters from different worlds writing letters to other characters and this is stuff you miss and that's not really that important on your first read through but when you go back and you've read more of the Cosmere it's just so damn exciting to see all of this interplay between all of these different fantastic stories by Sanderson. Now many of these series are already considered fantasy classics in the fandom and by critics alike. This is all culminating to a whole new age in the Cosmere. Technology is actually improving over the years that these stories take place. A great example is in Mistborn where the first era was very fantastical medieval vibes and the second era we start to get to more industrial revolution kind of vibe and it's all culminating to a future space age Cosmere and this is where the Cosmere is going to end up and actually in a recent live stream Sanderson read out a chapter of the Cosmere that is set in the future and you see space age technology with these characters from all the different races that you know and love in this amazing universe. So it's just so damn exciting to know that we have so many books going into it from fantasy all the way to sci-fi with a consistent magic system and ideas and technology that is progressing, not to mention fantastic stories, amazing characters, epic moments like I could go on and on forever. This is just a very rudimentary introduction to the Cosmere. Now you might be a Cosmere veteran, I hope I did this justice. If you're new to the Cosmere, I hope this has spurred you to look into it a bit more and maybe find a book to read from it or a series to read from it. This is just the beginning of a series I want to do on Cosmere lore and all these different connections and all these things that we can find in these fantastic stories by Brandon Sanderson. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for all things fantasy, Cosmere, Sanderson and all these amazing books that I would love to talk about please subscribe and plenty more coming your way to enjoy. Hope you guys are all well and I'll see you all in the next video.